the difference and that the last term which is there in the it syllabus because it syllabus itself is ai ds artificial intelligence data science so what is this data science so what does data science means so data and science it's a it, to to put it into a simpler words uh, the scientific application that tries to describe data in a better manner itna hi main bol sakta hu this is again is not definition whenever i talk definitions i'll tell you that these are definitions so far i have not told you definition of nothing i have not told you what is the definition of ai i have not told you what is the definition of ml what is the official definition of uh, dl and neither the definition of data i am trying to make you aware ek kab kis cheez ko aap kya keh la when you will see something and say that okay this is something to do with ai this is something to do with machine learning this is something to do with deep learning okay itna hi classification mein aaj aapko is discussion mein de raha hu because this is the first lecture and i don't want you to get bogged down by just the names because these are very much uh, bombarding every day on your mail boxes through lot of uh, you know lot of uh, people may be mailing you get i'll train you in deep learning in 30 hours i'll train you with machine learning in 30 hours extensive training placements guarantees and all those things isliye aapko thoda pata hona chahiye ki ye kya cheez hai exactly isme kya seekhna hoga okay so that that's what i'm trying to do today in this discussion so now what is data science so to be more uh, elaborate about what we do in data science is we know that nowadays uh, not necessarily nowadays so data science is also a discipline that around uh, 1980 se aap aage dekhoge तो स्टैटिस्टिकल कंप्यूटेशनल साइंस में बहुत प्रोग्रेस होना चालू हो गया देर आर मेनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस डेडिकेटेड टू डू स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस एंड द स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस आर जनरली डन बिकॉज यू हैव वेरी मच क्वांटिटेटिव और क्वालिटेटिव डेटा अवेलेबल दैट यू वांट टू डिस्क्राइब इन ऑर्डर टू सपोर्ट सम मैनेजमेंट डिसीजन ओके आई जस्ट रिपीट व्हाट आई सेड आई वेरी क्विकली सेड ऑल दीस थिंग्स सो स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस जनरली क्या किस चीज को बूस्ट करता है कि मेरे पास अगर क्वांटिटेटिव यानी न्यूमरिक और क्वालिटेटिव यानी कुछ कैटेगोरिकल डेटा है बहुत सारा जो ऑर्गेनाइज हुआ है बिकॉज आई एम मेंटेनिंग थिंग्स डिजिटली एंड आई वांट टू टेक सर्टेन स्ट्रेटेजिक डिसीजंस वही स्ट्रेटेजिक डिसीजंस मुझे लेने हैं जो मैनेजरियल लेवल डिसीजन है जो मेरे डे टू डे प्रोसेस में मैं लेना जरूरी नहीं समझता बट टू हैव Uh, kind of better organization of my organization structure i want to take those decisions so some strategic decision i want to take these decisions are supported by this statistical analysis so generally the statistical analysis that got into uh, the computer science was through this mindset uh, you can understand that by 1980s we actually had some good database management systems developed which collected all the data together and kept it in a centralized location and this, these database management systems they were striving for those acid properties and we were trying to actually have these inculcated into all our transactional subroutines transactional processing so jo transactional data collect ho raha tha jo ek organized data tha we could call call it as information which involved certain kind of data which was quantitative as well as qualitative quantitative matlab numeric data sales kitna hua kitna purchase hua kitna quantities hai all those kind of things kya maine kitna kharch kiya kitna mere paas income aaya all those numeric data then there could be some qualitative data i am sort of giving a survey out telling how good or how bad to the on a scale of 5 you respond So all those kind of quantitative, qualitative data are available to me. Or demographic data, a kind of way in which people constitute a population. So I am doing surveys, and if I keep my survey data into a centralized location, I would naturally understand the demography of my student, the age differentiation, the sex differentiation, the uh, demographic uh, um, details of all the people in a particular population. then maybe their ethnicities their caste creeds and other things and based on these maybe a country wants to take certain kind of strategic decisions just like what we do in india we have surveys which are called as census every 10 years and there is every 5 year plan 
that we have so earlier it was five year plan nowadays things have shifted but considering that so we used to take a survey every 10 years of the entire population used to collect those statistical data and then processes it and take decisions of ki mujhe kitne dams kahan pe chahiye kya karna chahiye so that a particular population gets uh, jobs if i have say crops uh, better in a particular area how to make it grow numerously humongously and some some questions like that so all these are strategic decisions this is we are talking about a country as an organization but it could be a business as well based on the previous years uh, results i want to take a decision for next year so all these questions the statistics are going to help me to answer main focus of statistics is to describe or to uh, tell the story that is stored in the data which is not that much evident by just looking at data in a state that it is presented to it okay so ye jo cheez hai statistical processing data pe karna ye karne ke liye jo computational uh, science kaam karta hai that is referred to as data science so that was the way data science used to be earlier nowadays uh, we do not restrain ourselves just to do wrangling of data so this term uh, is i guess new to you wrangling of data so data varies from various sources ko ek sath leke usko wrangle karna yani usko ek to mix karna clean karna usko properly represent karna aur usse meaning nikalna by showing it in a different manner it could be a visual manner or it could be a statistical description of the data and that these all things come under the basis of data science jisko bola jata hai exploratory data analysis so i'm trying to analyze data in an exploratory manner so that jo bhi data main collect kar raha hu wo usi tarike se present nahi hoga as a table or as a uh, summary of an sql query result rather i would do some more processing on it and try to understand it in a better manner using maybe a visual technique like graphs pie plots histograms uh, heat maps so on and so forth or i could actually represent it using some sort of if say suppose i have temperatures of earth every day right from 1900 up to say 2020 21 okay so if i have those temperature details for every day i can plot it or i can actually summarize it into some bins and show it the show uh, show the statistical properties of what is the mean temperature increase what is the median what is the divergence how this temperature increase is occurring how fast it is or how slow it was and how fast it is and try to correlate it to some other thing so jo bhi statistical processing hota hai data data ke sath that comes under exploratory data analysis so i'm exploring the present data and analyzing it an analysis that i am doing if using visual techniques or maybe using statistical techniques so that comes under the data science earlier okay iske baad ka jo step hota hai wo hota hai interesting pattern uncover karna data se jo bahut acha theme hai those who have learned in i guess computer student had data mining and business uh, sorry data warehousing and data mining in sem 5 an it student have data mining and data warehousing that is dmba data mining business intelligence they have in current semester so aap dono ye seekhne wale ho jisko kaha jata hai data mining data mining kya karta hai ki kisi bhi data se jo bhi pattern interesting hoga usko uncover karna that is exactly what data mining or pattern recognition kind of team uh, kind of algorithms do so these are some precise algorithms of classification clustering association rule these algorithms they come under the view of data mining so a data mining algorithm a machine learning algorithm a deep learning algorithm ko data analytics ke sath data analytics means exploratory data analysis ke sath aap agar jod do i am not not just now any more doing data analysis but along with data analysis i am going a further step after i understand the data in a better manner after i after i understand ke kitne out kya kya outlier hai kaun sa interesting field hai data ka kaun se features ke sath mujhe 
मैं एक कंप्यूटेशनल मॉडल बिल्ड कर सकता हूँ जो मेरा मशीन लर्निंग को फास्ट बनाएगा ओके बेस्ड ऑन दिस और डीडीए एक्सप्लोरेटरी डेटा एनालिसिस फैसिलिटेट्स मी और प्रोवाइड्स मी दिस इनसाइट्स वंस आई हैव दिस इनसाइट आई विल यूज दिस डेटा फॉर फर्दर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल टू सॉल्व सम ऑफ द क्वेरीज दैट जनरली वी वांट टू आस्क आवरसेल्फ्स एज अ डिसीजन मेकर इन एन organization so this is exactly what you nowadays have as data science so whenever we are learning data science we are not just learning about statistics statistical analysis but also how these statistical analysis provide an insight into the machine learning model so the it syllabus after four first four module or, or rather first three modules module number 4 we talk about introduction to data science Module number five, we get introduce ourselves to exploratory data analysis, the statistical side of it and the visual side of it. Okay, so how do you do exploratory data analysis using statistics and using the visual techniques? That is what we study. And in the last module, the module number six, we study machine learning. Okay, I guess computer students have a subject of machine learning as an elective. it was there in previous uh, batch i'm not sure it is there right now but you'll be learning about machine learning in an entire syllabus but as we get introduced in this uh, ai ds1 by the way ai ds1 is the first part of the course for it students and for computer students we are going to learn along with it students ke teen modules jo hai wo aapko char ya panch modules mein okay which are concentrating basically on the classical ai okay classical ai techniques which again now concentrates on these four types of thing one is we want to create an artifact that think like human we want to create an artifact that is acting like human so we want to replace human's behavior with that artifact okay that human's behavior might not be physical behavior it might be something to do with his mental abilities as well so don't think about whenever i say behavior it is always physical and whenever i'm talking about thinking it is always a soft or a uh, non physical activity thinking is obviously non physical activity but thinking is a is in as in thought process so whenever i take a decision as human being there are a lot of things that goes behind that decision the a chain of reasoning goes behind that decision you might also think Yes, yeah, suppose today's temperature. Looking at today's temperature, if in your deep freeze there is an ice cream, uh, which is there in mine, uh, so will you be having that ice cream today? Some of you will answer yes. Some of you will answer no. But there will be always some thought process going behind those answers. Okay. Some of you are already uh, having certain kind of. Uh, viral infection or certain kind of sneezing or something like that uh, they will think twice before taking a decision to have that ice cream okay but others who do not have such things uh, there is cold by the way but still you can undermine that and still have that ice cream so the, 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 there is always a thought process which is a chain of reasoning which is not a single step solution it is a chain of reasoning ye hua to ye hoga wo hoga to wo hoga ये दोनों हुए तो ऐसा होगा ऑल दिस थिंग दैट वी डू इन अवर थॉट प्रोसेस व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट एआई दैट आर मिमिकिंग थॉट प्रोसेस ऑफ ह्यूमंस ओके वी आर राइटिंग प्रोग्राम्स दैट जनरली रिप्लेस दिस चेन ऑफ रीजनिंग यूजिंग अ कंप्यूटर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इट और कंप्यूटेशनल आई शुड से रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इट जनरली फॉर डूइंग दिस Uh, people have developed reasoning techniques using uh, logic or mathematical logic so mathematical logic goes uh, behind describing how we take such thought process decisions okay so that is what this thinking humanly actually tries to answer or thinking humanly mein hum log kya karna karne karne ka sochte hain we want to develop certain artifacts that will now so artifacts in this case are softwares these softwares or software apis or programming languages are going to do what they are going to 
do the reasoning process as a normal human being would do okay so that is thinking human 